Today we'll be installing OtterBox ELD bundle number 100929 for the Apple iPad Pro 10.5 or the iPad Air 3. The first part of the ELD kit that we'll be installing is the pedestal and backplate onto the dash. To do that, we are first going to determine our mounting location. On this particular truck, it's going to be right on the side of the console. Then we need to remove the faceplate from the dash to gain access to the inside of the dash panel behind our mounting location. Next, you're going to want to access the other side of the dash to determine if it is safe to drill the four holes if they are not already there. It's important to avoid drilling near any important electronics or gauges. To do this, you can remove one of the pedestal bases and use it as a template for drilling your holes. Once the holes are drilled, we can use the same access point to add the back plate. Now that we've access to the back side of the dash, we're gonna to want to put a screw into the pedestal base. Then we wanna put that through one of the pre-drilled holes and use it to line up the back plate inside the dash. Once the pedestal base and backplate are lined up, you can go ahead and add the rest of the screws and the lock nuts. Now we're going to use a 7mm wrench to hold the nuts in place while we drive the screws from the outer side. Once all the lock nuts are secured, we can put the dash back together. Now that we have everything back together with the pedestal base and back plate installed, we can attach the rest of the pedestal by putting it on and tightening the wing nut. And we also want to adjust the other side for the next step by tightening the second wing nut. The next step of the installation is attaching the four prong plate to the pedestal. The first thing we're going to do is grab a Phillips screwdriver and loosen the center screw until the back plate comes off. Now you want to grab the shorter set of included machine screws and the second set of nylock nuts. We're going to use those to attach the base plate to the pedestal face. Now that we have the nuts started, we're going to use the same 7mm wrench and screwdriver to tighten these down. With the base plate installed, we can reattach the four prong plate using the same center screw we used to take it apart before. Now that everything's installed, we can use the wing nuts to move the pedestal and we can tilt and rotate the four prong base for easy operation. Now let's prepare the device. To prepare the device, the first step is to install the four prong adapter plate into the back of the OtterBox Universe case. It should easily fit into the grooves that are already part of the case. Make sure that the narrow part of the plate holes are pointed toward the top of the device to be mounted. The second step is simply fitting the device into the case. Now that we have the four prong adapter plate installed in our universe case, we can go ahead and mount it on our pedestal mount. Then we can easily rotate and reposition the device. That concludes the installation of bundle number 100929. We hope this video has helped. Have a great day.